Good morning, it's Tuesday, February 28th, and today I will be at least working more on, if not finishing, this Nakiri. Uh, it is much more squared up. It is also slendered down. Uh, it lost a little weight here, and it's just, it's super angular, but it's still super comfortable. Um, it's got a very severe uh, chamfer up front, uh, and it just disappears in the hand. So I'm gonna get that closer, if not all the way down to hand sanding. Um, I took a cleaver and buffed up this buffed forge finish a little bit uh, on Saturday, and so I will get a handle on this. I may actually splurge and do a full two-part handle as opposed to just doing a resin one. We'll see how I feel later when I go to build it. Um, other than that, I will be continuing on the to two sheaths, the sheath and the saya I have. This is the saya for the Gyoto and the sheath for the American Heritage Utility. I'll get some more work done on those today. Um, yeah, and so we'll see what else comes in. Otherwise, here's Josh and what he's got going on. Hey guys, those Santokus that I've been showing you for God knows how long, uh, they aren't glued up, but these handles are uh, shaped and they're ready to glue up by the end of the day, possibly sooner. Um, just depends on how everything pans out today. I know it is Industry Tuesdays, so hopefully there's a lot of sharpening. Uh, that's all I have going on. I also have some a few things in the showroom, but we'll get to that later on. Here is Daniel, <laughs> what he has. Hey y'all, just to get you caught up with what's going on. Um, getting this knife handled up, this was one of the thick guys I had in the batch earlier this month. The customer wants to now put a handle on it instead of doing a skeletalized handle. So, uh, gonna have to start doing that, getting it ready, and then hopefully for glue up later on today. With that, I also remembered that I had one of these D2 Bowie, mini Bowies that I've been making, uh, that I was doing a mustard patina on, and I totally forgot that I didn't like it and I was gonna switch it up to something, so I'll be basically doing my best to get these two handled up and then on to stuff that's into March. That's gonna be the majority of my day along with whatever else comes in. As Josh mentioned, it is Industry Tuesday, so we should be getting an influx of sharpening then, especially if my guy did posts like he should. Other than that, we're gonna be in the showroom with him right now. So without further ado, what's up, buddy? Hey guys, today we have the Talisman from Spyderco. It is in the salt series, so all you salt water uh, fishermen will love this knife. Very anti-corrosive um, and just a really, really cool blade geometry as well. Do we know the blade steel on that one? The blade steel is H2. Thank you. That's Spyderco's little salt series steel, correct? Yeah. Right on. Uh, in stock? Uh, it will be by the time you see this video. Right on, guys. All right, man. Well, that's gonna start the week for us, y'all. Uh, thank you for coming back again. We hope all of you had a great weekend, enjoying the week uh, weekend as much as we did, and hopefully we'll see more of you or hear more from you this week. Make sure you're liking, subscribing, putting down comments, and hitting us up for any questions you guys have. Love to hear from you. See you on see the next one. Good morning is Wednesday, March 1st. Half, happy March, everybody. And today I will be getting a handle glued on for one of my customs for March. This is a paring knife in high carbon steel. Um, and I already have the handle material drilled and uh, scribed, so I will cut it and shape the front of it. Um, that'll be fairly quick and we'll be able to uh, have that ready for gluing. And then this is the cleaver I showed you yesterday. Got the handle all prepared for it. Um, so we will be gluing uh, really, really probably in the first hour or two. Uh, everybody's got a little thing to glue, so we'll, we'll glue up all together. Um, so these are my two. Um, outside of that, I'm gonna be working on leather and doing some other random stuff, uh, which I'll show you tomorrow. Uh, as for me, that's for me for today. Here's Josh with what he's got going. Hey guys. This morning, I am getting ready to prep this handle for drilling. Everything is drilled, actually, except for this bolster that I need to uh, even up. That's my day. Hopefully, some other uh, maybe stock uh, knife making and some inventory because I've been gotten on that uh, this week. So that's what I have going on. Here is Daniel with what he has. Hey y'all, just to get you caught up with what's going on in my world, I'm gonna be gluing up as well with everyone else. I've got my two knives, the Custom and the uh, D2 Mini Bowie, I guess. Uh, that guy with some blue spots of pecan is what I've chosen for him. So that will be the start of my day. Doing some emails, stuff online, and then getting jumping into March's Customs and Refurbs for the month. 
that will be the majority of what I do. Yesterday was a great day for sharpening. Uh, so thank you for all the industry professionals that have been coming out. We appreciate that support. Uh, other than that, that's what will be going on. So appreciate that uh, as far as taking the time to come out and get your knife sharpened yesterday. But now we are in the showroom with our favorite guy and our favorite place. Josh, what's up buddy? Hey guys, so today we have two really cool neck knives. These are made out of Magnica. One is a Warncliffe and one is a spear point. Uh, they are paracord wrapped and they do have a, I guess a leather liner, if you will. You can see right there. So both of them have an acid wash finish um, and they do come with uh, neck knife sheets. So, right they on. are all in stock. Right on. All right, guys. Well, that'll wrap us up for today. Make sure you're interacting with us however you choose to, and thank you for doing so. Otherwise, we'll wrap it up here and see you tomorrow on the next one. Two. Good morning. This Thursday, March 2nd, and yesterday I got the cleaver for stock and one of the pairing knives that is a custom. Got those two glued up, and... The other pairing knife for March, I got ground, polished, buffed, and I got the handle material prepped and uh, approved uh, how much uh, wood to pink they want. So I will get that one drilled and cleaned up and glued up today and work on the shaping of, of the pairing knife and the cleaver a little bit as well. Um, still need to do a little bit more leather work. Um, I'll get to that as well. Today has just been very difficult. We have like our leather room is completely destroyed right now. So getting up there to do it is like, it's just little bits of time at this point. Um, so I'll do that. Otherwise we'll see what comes in. Here's Josh with what he's got going on. I'm working on these two Sentokus. I got them rehandled or glued up, <laughs> glued up yesterday. And I'm also working on this refurb today. It's just a Chicago cutlery slicer. So I'm gonna be filming the process of that and getting a few good Instagram shots. Here's Daniel with what he has. Hey y'all, just to get you caught up with what's going on in my world, I have got these two glued up along with everyone yesterday. Should be bringing those down. I am also working on a straight razor since I started with that last night before I left. Uh, we got into some refurbs. Russell and Josh are both helping me out with, with uh, ones that are in April and I've got two in March coming up. So I have been working on those. Which reminds me, Josh, can you grab me that knife over there with the handle on it? Nope, nope, nope. That big boy, yes sir, all right. Now, one of our uh, customers who's also a watcher, Matthias, we are working on his knife. I will be taking this down and doing my best. My best, Matthias, I told you I won't be able to do everything well, but I will try my best to get uh, progress on this uploaded to this week's episode so that way you can see as we do this rehandle, I will try and get it done as soon as possible so that way I can get it back to him and you guys can have a little quick sneak peek at that process. Other than that, that's what I've got wrapped up for today. I don't think we have anything in the showroom, so that's just going to be it for us here, and I'll wrap it up, and we'll see you tomorrow in the next one, guys. Peace. Okay, rehandling Matthias' knife, starting with the removal of the old thing.
It's Friday, March 3rd, and yesterday I got a refurb uh, glued up. So I got the handle scales knocked off, got it all clean up under, and got that handle prepped for it. So I'll do some shaping on it along with my custom for the other paring knife custom for March. Um, so got this one uh, ground polished and got the handle glued on as well. So those two are looking good. I did also shape the cleaver and the other paring knife a bit. Um, they're just, uh, they don't look remarkably different than they did yesterday, so I'll show them when they're more ready for hand sanding. Um, so I'm going to catch these two up to those, and then I'll run the, all four of them through the grits. Um, that's it for me for today. Here's Josh with what he's got going. Hey guys, I have this Skinner that I glued up uh, yesterday that has a two-part handle, a bolster, and big old chunk of the handle right there and I also have a reefer that I'm getting done for Daniel it's just a Chicago cutlery slicer uh, I should have I should have both of those down to hand sanding by today I hope uh, I'll <laughs> I'll do everything in my power to get that done and I've of course sharpening and uh, anything that customers need help with. I will also take care of. Here's Daniel with what he has. Hey y'all, hope everything's going well. Just to catch up with what's going on in my world today, I've got my two refurbs glued up like everyone else. I should be bringing them down to hand sand like everyone else. And if I can get them hand sanded and on, that'd be great. Other than that, I'll be into my customs, probably scribing them down. I want to try and get some steak sukis. It is a steak knife that we designed kind of like after a Hanasuki. I want to get a set of those for stock going. Um, and then I'm gonna have to push myself to get into this crazy leather room we got go, going upstairs with all the construction uh, Just because I got a backlog of leather to do not just customer knives, but stock knives uh, Other than that, that's gonna be the majority of my day along with whatever else comes in sharpening, etc We are now gonna go into the showroom talk to our guy Josh. So without further ado What's up, buddy? Hey guys, so today we have a really cool knife this is the Spyderco Sprint Run Paramilitary 2 with 15V steel. It is, uh, the blade is heat treated by Sean Houston and uh, with his proprietary heat treating method. And you can see his laser etched logo right there on the back of the blade. Uh, made in the USA, it's a really, really ergonomic knife and just feels really great in the hand. Right on. In stock? They are in stock and we only have three of them. Right so on. Get them soon. All right guys, so uh, any questions, let us know. That sprint run usually gets out of here pretty quick. Contact us if you have any questions on them. Uh, otherwise, we'll wrap up today. See you tomorrow on the wrap of the week. Later guys. Good morning, it is Saturday, March 4th and Today, I will start out the day by hand sanding this knife. So this is the American Heritage Utility that uh, I am making for uh, mid-month delivery. Um, so I'm going to completely finish this knife up, uh, retape it a little bit, and then I can finish the sheath as soon as the oval piece comes in from the engravers. I have the sheath done down to where I can't really do anything more without that. Um, so yesterday, I also got my refurbication done. Uh, so this is a Bob Kramer uh, Zwilling, uh, one of the older sets, um, and part of the handle had been falling off. So we rehandled this one, so I'll put an edge on it, and then we'll call that customer. And I also, oh, excuse me, uh, morning workout right here. Um, this axe head came into us from one of our regulars. Uh, it was in rough shape, completely r rusted, and we used our favorite new rust tool, the Evaporust, and... It is lovely now. You can even see, well, you, you probably won't be able to see it, but I can see it. There's like some words right here. So it's made in Japan. Um, and there's a, a name, not that we can read it, but you can see that there's stuff in there where with all the rust on it, you couldn't see anything. Um, so I'm gonna see if I can get the handle on that today. Um, otherwise I'll be working on the other handles that I got down to hand sand yesterday. And that's it for me. And for my week, here's Josh with what he's got. Hey guys, so I got a few of my, uh, just the knives I've been working on. I've got them down to shape. Here's that uh, custom Santoku. Here's this refurb that has Sinker Cypress on it. 
and here are yeah here's the sensoku and here is this carry knife that i've also been working on so i'm going to get those more down shape hopefully hand sanding today i know i have some inventory uh we're going to be going over hogue knives today or i'm going to be going over hogue knives today um along with anything else that the guys need help with that's what i have going on here's daniel with what he has hey y'all uh thanks for coming in today just to get you caught up with what's going on in my world i've got everything close to hand sand um like everyone else i'm kind of on the same train i'm also kind of getting acquainted with what's going to be for next month or this month i should say um i need to be getting into the customs and cutting out knives but i just didn't get as far as i'd like to on these that will be the rest of my goal <clears throat> i also have matthias's uh knife as well glued up which i will show because i told matthias i would um it is now glued up I've got small bits of process that I have been filming on it. I will be continuing that uh, today when I get some time and then just on to everything else that I've got. So next week I should show you some other stuff. Uh, other than that, that's gonna be what I've got going on today as well as whatever else comes in. We're gonna go into the showroom now. We've got a new little baby with our guy, Joshua. What's up, buddy? Hey guys, so we are going over this Petty Nakiri today. It's made out of CPM 154. It's a very nice knife. The ferrule is going to be made of highly chantoyant mango, and the big bulk meat of the handle is going to be redwood, and that's dyed blue. So, kind of funny right there. Right on. And it is going to be in stock when you see this video. Right on. So I don't even have to ask the question. Well, guys, that's going to be it for us today and for the week. We thank you for joining us again. As always, please make sure you're leaving any kind of comments, messages in our inboxes or wherever it is you see fit. Just so that way we're interacting with you guys. Any questions you have, we can get back with you as soon as possible. Other than that, y'all, have a great weekend. Hope everyone's enjoying the weather. I know here in Houston it is great, so I will enjoy it when I get a chance this weekend. Everyone take care, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.